what is going on guys welcome to another video on the channel today as you can see from the thumbnail we have got ourselves a recovery truck uh, this has been a long time coming uh, even before youtube i wanted a recovery truck so yeah today's the day it's finally here um i've already had three cars on it um if you follow me on instagram you will see uh, that i put a instagram story up of me going to look at one um so if you're not checking us out on there then do so already at car trader diaries and if you haven't subscribed already, do hit that subscribe button down below. So, let's show you the truck. There's a few issues with it. Um, so, it needs a little bit of tidying up. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with it. It's done, well let's get into it and then we'll talk a bit more. Here it is guys, it is a 2008 uh, Vauxhall Movano. It's a 58 plate. See there. It's missing this bit of trim here. So that's kind of bugging me. So I want to get uh, one of them. Should be like that. Need to get this bumper sorted. It's just held on with a bit of tape at the moment. It shouldn't be too much of a, of a problem. You see the bonnet, got a little dent there, again, not worried about that. It's done 106,000 miles, so it's nothing for these really. Uh, it's got an aluminium bed on it. You can see it's a long wheelbase, but there's no box straps, so I'm going to need to get one of them. So yeah, uh, it's got two ramps, but they're quite short ones, you see there. I only go to there so there's like this backing plate which is loose so what i want to do is i want to get the the ramps extended um probably another two foot to about there because uh, as you can see around this side as you can see there it's quite a bit of a drop and cars sort of catch as they go over there so i want to put uh, another another sheet across there maybe but we're not going to worry about that at the moment um now the issues is needs uh sorting out so that's a bit loose um i've got a private plate that i'm going to be putting on this i'm um, just waiting for the log book to come through uh, obviously it's got a crack there um it's got one light i want to put two lights in what i'm thinking really is just get a new uh back panel just to sort of smarten the back of the the, the truck up and as you can see i've got um the old trusty scaffold boards to uh to extend the ramps um now the winch as you can see, I've seen better days. Now there is a bit of an issue. I don't know if you can see that, how well you can see that. You see there, you see there, it sort of bends down. Um, so I need to get a new uh, plate made up for that. Um, now it's, I'm just taking it apart at the moment because it doesn't actually uh, pull in and out. Like it, 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 it's live, it makes the noise, but I don't know if that sees, so I'm just going to have a quick look. If um, I can't get it running, then I might, they're fairly cheap anyway, I might just buy a new one, um, or I might get this serviced. Now, now we have got, we've got a spare wheel that come with it, uh, which is always handy. And it comes with, I think, eight straps in total, uh, the four straps that I use. They're fairly new, so we've got a couple of spare as well. That's come with a new winch rope, so we obviously if we can get that working, we will be changing that, and it's come with one of these. Um, so they sort of go there. So yeah, we, um, what we're doing at the moment, like I said, we're all just taking just uh, taking this apart just to see if we can find out what the issue is. Um, and obviously, like I said, if we can get it running, we'll be. Uh, We'll be fitting that bad boy, so yeah, fingers crossed. Um, what else is there to cover? Price. You probably want to know what the price I paid for this. I paid just over three grand for it, so well happy with it. Um, also, the driver's wheel bearing winding a little bit only when you turn left. So it's not it's not bad at the moment, but that is something I am going to change. That also needs a, a service as well, it hasn't been serviced, so we are going to be doing that. Look inside, reasonably clean. 
So yeah, what do you think? Uh, I'll put a picture up. I uh, dropped the VXR off to the body shop yesterday. Um, I'll put a picture in now. So the uh, VXR is now at the body shop. So Matt's going to do his magic there. If you haven't done so already, you can go and check him out on Instagram. Uh, I'll put a, a link to his page in the uh, description below. Okay, so what was happening with the winch was when you'd uh, try and winch it in or out, it was just clicking, it wasn't moving. But this was this was turning turning freely as you can see now. Um, so I've taken this control box off um, and this here was the ground. So it goes from there and connects onto the outside to there. I mean, yeah, it doesn't seem better days. So I'm going to change that and get a new nut and bolt. You can see they're both really rusted, so I think they might have been a bad earth. So I can't seem to find anything that can run this side. I can't seem to find uh, what else it could be. Um, I mean, the motor, it turns, it turns freely. There's no reason why I mean, that, that hasn't, it doesn't look to me like it's burnt out or so I'm just going to uh, find the nut and bolt. We'll get it all put back together and then we'll give it a go. I'll get that on camera as well. Okay, so that hasn't fixed the problem. I'll show you what it does. I'll just stick this in. Taking the, uh, the rope out. Nothing. So I've ordered a new one. Um, ordered a new winch. So that's going to come in a couple of days so once that comes I'll, I'll get that fitted so i'm going to take this one off uh i'll just take well i'm just gonna leave it in and then i'll take it off when a new one comes but i want to put a new a new frame in there because that shouldn't be like that so yeah right what we're going to do next is we're going to go and get the stuff to give it a service oh actually what i want to do first um, have a little look at this. That's gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Right. So that it's now done. I've got some uh, glue remover. I removed all the uh, old glue off that. I've just cable tied that on there for now. What I'm doing is just giving the wheels a little freshen up. Nothing spectacular. I'm going to do that one next. Just done this one. So yeah. Got my way rounds. Get them done next. And then we're going to need to go and pick up the oil and the, the um, oil filter and stuff to, to do the service next. Hey, so just giving these, uh, <coughs> giving these wheels a little freshen up. Show you around this side. It's only a quick job. I need to do it again soon, but for now that just need to cut that cable tire but yeah I'm gonna go and pick the uh, servicing stuff up now and then we'll come back and uh, give it a service okay so what we're gonna do now we've got the oil got the oil filter and we've got the air filter so just jacked it up what we're gonna do now is taking the oil cap off we we'll take the sump plug and we're going to drain the oil down. Once that's drained down, then what we're going to do... Oh, where is it? There, take the oil filter out. So a couple of days later, we had to wait for a drain plug key. Didn't have one of them, so we've now got that. Over here. And what else has arrived? A brand new winch. So, out with the old. In with the new. Comes with everything. Comes with two wireless remotes, one plug in, roller, all the bolts. Cover there. So, yeah, 
we're gonna do we're gonna get this serviced now and then we're gonna move on to fitting that winch so I mean what I might do is just if it if it bolts straight into that I'll get that fitted and then at a later date I'll get the, uh, a proper bracket made up that's draining we're going to change the the air filter next look at that let's give you a quick comparison that's the old one that's the new one So to say that that needed changing. Ten times better. All right. All right. It's another job done. So now, what we're going to do? We are going to change the oil filter, which is there. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> Just for a quick comparison. Blimey, look at that. Right, let's get this changed over. <laughs> some new oil put in it. Before we start, just, this will be changed, but for now we're just going to connect it to that um, and then sort of a, uh, in the very near future I'm going to get that properly mounted. Unfortunately, we can't get that on because the holes are different and to be honest I'm gonna get uh, a new I'm gonna get a uh, I'm gonna get it done properly. So that's obviously gonna be all for today's video If you like the video hit the thumbs up if you're new subscribe to the channel uh, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Peace